Ladies and gents, boys and girls, we've got the man himself, Sam, over in Toronto. I think he's going to give me a good testimonial here. It's been a couple of months since we spoke. Um, I'm going to hand it over to the man himself. I know he's busy. Uh, Sam, how did you get on in our initial 16 weeks together? Uh, amazing. You know, I, I have to say, as someone who has struggled with... Uh with his weight his entire life. I, uh, uh, you know, I'm 61 years old and I, uh, I can't remember a time that I haven't been overweight and, and struggling uh, with trying to get it in control. And, and my weight is, is, you know, historically when I've been um, reasonably successful, it's never been long lasting. So, you know, yeah. one week I'm down and then it seems like shortly thereafter, my weight's starting to go the wrong way. And my, you know, psychologically that follows. So uh, your weight's down, you feel good, your weight goes up again, and and you know you're you just you just made a mess of things. So, so you were stuck in that trap of losing 20, 30 pounds, but then gaining it back again. So you could lose the weight, but you couldn't maintain it with the lifestyle. So just just tell everyone what was the what's the heaviest you've ever been in your life? Oh, the heaviest I was 280, 280 pounds. 280, uh, yeah. I, and what did you come to the program in? Well, how much did you weigh then? So, so I did uh, uh, lap band surgery. So I put a band on my on my yeah. uh, stomach, and it, it restricts the amount of food. Uh, that that helped me uh, gradually get down to two hundred and thirty. Um, but my weight had still, uh, with the band, uh, fluctuated all over the place. I mean, I was as low as two hundred and twenty, and I was as high as two hundred and fifty. So my weight had yeah. constantly uh you know yes it had come down but it was still the same challenge um up and down and up and down but uh um you know at the end of the day what i was relying on was sheer will and you know that only takes you so far and i think that's the biggest change since then and where i am today is is uh is frankly uh with your guidance the um the, the benefit of all the learning that i that i've been able to to um you know to, to to use to guide me going forward i mean we haven't talked in a few months my weight has still come down a couple of pounds and frankly um i, I was very happy to just hold it in where i was um yeah the fact that it's come down a couple of pounds i anticipate it'll come down a few more pounds over you know over the next few months these are gradual changes that are um you, you know that are now lifestyle they're not i'm not on a diet fantastic uh, so what's your actual weight on the scale now 192.8 pounds. Wow. So we, we said originally we wanted to get sub 200 was our initial goal. And and, and you what you were around about that 130 something, weren't you, when we started? 230, yeah. 230. Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. So look, the weight on the scale is one thing, but that's not really the goal. It's really what that weight offers you, you know, how you feel, energy, how you how you look, clothes. So what have you actually found that losing this weight has given you in your life? Uh, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to begin, and it would certainly take a lot longer than 10 minutes. But, uh, but uh, uh, you know, the, there were a couple of things that I was interested in when I started out. One is I have to, you know, I, 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 I've been reasonably successful in other parts of my life. I have, I've been a complete mess when it comes to managing my weight. So, you know, one is I, I needed to take control over my weight. Two is I wanted more energy. I'm a grandfather now. I want to be able to keep up with my grandchildren. And frankly, I never knew what that meant until I actually had a couple. Uh, now I have three of them. But, um, uh, you know, and, and I, I wanted to feel like I had control. I wanted to, you know, I'd look a little a little better and, uh, and, and feel a little better about myself. So, um, you know, th those were all the goals. And, and you know, uh, I mean, I, the the hardest part for me wasn't so much, you know, am I going to lose a few pounds through sheer will and determination? It was how do I, how do I completely change my outlook towards food and, mm -hmm. you know, have confidence that going forward, um, I could actually throw away the, I always had two pairs of clothes. There were the, you know, the, the guy who was the, the temporary clothes, clothes, clothes that the were the low. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the regular ones that were the and the worst part was it you, you know about it was you, you you meet somebody and they go wow you've lost weight you look great and and then the hardest part is when you see that person six months later and you know you know they're going to look at you going wow what, what happened um you know he put it all back on again i don't feel that anymore i threw away all my you know 
clothes, my heavier clothes, because I'm that confident that I can uh, I can exercise. And you know, I hated exercising, and I don't do it vigorously. Yeah. But I but I I sit on a bike for 30 minutes three times a week, or I go for a walk for 30 minutes three times a week. That's all I need. Um, you know, I'm, I, I'm uh, you know other people do more. Good on them. I I just I can't. Uh, I don't want to, not that I can't, I don't want to. Uh, so three times a week, right after this call, I'm on the bike. Um, and, you know, and that, that you know, I, plus I, I watch what I eat, but I don't count. I mean, I, I log my food, but, um, it, you know, I'm not worried about, uh, I think, you know, one of the things that, that you taught me was around, it's money in the bank, right? So I, I target 1,750 calories a day, uh, a little bit more now that I'm kind of in maintenance mode, but you know, if I if I want to have something that's a little higher in calories at lunch, for example, I'll accommodate at dinner uh, and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll adjust those things. Um, or if I know I've got a wedding on Saturday, which I do, then I start to cut back a few calories every day. Not it's, a lot. It's, it's so simple when you understand it, isn't it? It's so simple. The, the word diet are the worst four letter word that has ever been invented. I'm telling I think you, so. I have never been. I cannot remember, I cannot remember when my weight started with the number one. I cannot remember a time when I was under 200 pounds. That, that must feel pretty good, right? It, it feels great. And then it feels even better. I still weigh myself every week, you know, because you, you want to just make sure you're course correcting. And and it feels great looking at the scale, knowing I'm, I'm you know, I'm at where, where I want to be or lower. Um, and, and again, I'm not. You know, I'm not actively focused on trying to lose weight right now. I'm actively focused on maintaining this these skills yeah, that I've yeah. got. And, and the fact that my weight's come down a couple of pounds since the last time we've even talked yeah. about is great. You, you, me I you mentioned something that's so important there, and I want to just explore that a little bit more. You mentioned that for the first time you've got this better relationship with food, and, you, cause, and you've turned a corner. We often see it in some clients, and... Some clients lose weight but don't really get it. And I know for a fact that you're never going to put this weight back on. But what was it in the program that made you really understand calories and to improve? You mentioned improving that relationship with food. What was the, what was the, what, when did the penny drop? The, the penny, I, I think there were a couple pennies there. But, but the, the, the first insight that, that you provided me was, and I'd heard it over and over again on those Monday calls with, with the, the entire group was, you know, don't overthink it. I mean, it, it, you're, you're managing calories. Don't try to kind of game the system. This is, you know, it's the money in the bank was the penny drop. So you're it's getting, what you just said about the finance. Yeah, exactly. You're getting paid seven, 1,750 calories a day. Uh, you can't Budget. spend more than 700, 1,750 calories a day, or you're going to, you know, you're going to run into debt or you're going to put on weight. And, and, and for me being an accountant, I guess that really triggered was, you know, uh, if you, you basically, you course correct over the course of a week, whatever that works out to that's 10,000 calories. That's what you have to play with. And if you want to lose weight, you've got to stay within that number and exercise. It's all great. I ignore the exercise element on my fitness pal, which the doc yeah, calories. It's a good, it's a good move. I stick with, you know, I'm, I'm got 1750, 1800 calories a day for yeah. example, simple. And, and, you know, and as long as I can, if I decide I want a hamburger at lunch, then that's fine. At dinner time, I'll go a little less. Or if I have, you know, for me, what works is I have a protein shake in the morning. Um, I have a light lunch in the afternoon when the protein shake carries me right through. Um, and, and that just works for me. I have a light lunch. And then at dinner time, I won't say I eat what I want, but I eat within reason within my, but because I have so much money in the bank, so many calories that I've banked um, that I can have, you know, a nice dinner and not feel guilty or a glass of wine with dinner. Yeah. And not feel guilty about it. Like for me, it's, it's, it's almost too simple, isn't it? It's almost too it's, simple. It's, 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 I think we've been conditioned as people that are, you know, <laughs> trying to lose weight to, you know, to 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 make it far more complicated than it actually is, yeah. and I think that's the whole weight loss industry that does that to you. I think Absolutely. you can boil it down at calories in and calories out, and you know a little exercise helps me with my energy for sure. Uh, but calories in and calories out, um, I, I, I you know, and, and it's really hard to unlearn all the stuff that 
you know, gets drilled into your brain every day. Buy this pill, buy this equipment. Um, you know, all that stuff is crap. That's why I say the diet, the, the you know, the word diet is the worst word ever yeah. invented for people. Yeah, like yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. The, the whole industry itself is de almost designed to confuse you guys. And But it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword because although it is very, very simple, I'm kind of glad that people are confused. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a job. Um, but at the same time, I want to teach you guys what works every single time. But the last couple of questions. Uh, someone that was sitting on a fence, as you know, I speak to a lot of people. Some join, some don't. What would be the one piece of advice you would give someone that was thinking about joining that but just needed to be pushed over the edge in the right direction? What would you say to them? Well, I, I'll tell you what worked for me. I went through, um, I, I got to know you through LinkedIn and I, I went through a lot of your, your posts uh, online on LinkedIn. And I always have approached this, you know, anybody trying to practice helping me lose weight with skepticism because I, you know, I, I know how to lose weight. I don't know how to keep it off. Um, and they just resonated with me. You, you, I mean, the, the, what you talked about in terms of, you, you know, like you were very, you are very, very direct. You want to lose weight, less calories. You want to lose weight, less calories in than calories out. It's that, that whole thing. But your, your approach on, and I went through a whole bunch of your, your posts and, you know, what you were talking about um, really, really resonated with me. And so I, I thought, let me have a conversation with this individual. And, and, you know, um, and, and I remember showing my wife and she was like, wow, like this guy's pretty direct. Like there's no, you know, he's not, he's not promising you the world. He's telling you what you need to do. And, and um so I had a conversation with you. I, I liked what I heard. It made sense, which, you know, again, for me, it, you know, it, it just made sense to me. And, and, and they were baby steps. I wasn't, you know, I remember saying to you, like, if I have to stop drinking, I'm out. If I have to go to the gym five days a week, I'm out. If I have to cut back certain foods, I'm out. Like I, I went in with a, this isn't, you know, I, 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 yeah. open mind, and, but boy. And, I, and I, I remember you, and I use you, I don't mean use you in a bad way, but I use you as an example of how someone can get great results. Because I remember the very first conversation, you said, Gab, I love food and I hate exercise. And I said, okay, we, we're going to have to, and I said, well, let me put your mind at rest. The exercise is the icing on the cake. I know I'm talking about cake and fat loss yeah. in the same sentence. Uh if we can control the calories, if we get this, I promise you, and you, were, I could see you looking at me thinking, so he's telling me I can lose 20 to 30 pounds, and all I've got to do is go for a walk and control my calories and increase my protein. I said, I promise you, and look where we are. Look where we and are. And I still really, love yeah. food, and I still hate exercise. Exactly. And there's, <laughs> that's, so look, this testimonial is going to go far, because I'm going to say, look, go and look at Sam, because this is the hardest part of my job is – not once I know once someone gets into the program, I know as long as they listen to what I say, they're going to get great results. The hardest part of my job, and I say this all the time, I've said it for years, is getting someone to trust me and themselves to come into the program and actually listen to what I've got to say. But look, um, and the other thing I would say is, uh, you know, those team calls that we had uh, once a week are invaluable because you heard other people uh, and their struggles and. You know, for the most part, I could relate. Like there were weeks where I'd come in there and I, you know, done everything right, and I didn't lose any weight. And there were weeks where I went in there and my weight just dropped off, and I couldn't understand how one week yeah. changed. There. But that's your body. That's not what you did this, you know, these past few yeah. days. It's just your body. Um, and so I think you know having those calls is is like I think underscores the whole program as well. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Well, look, Sam, I appreciate those words. It's amazing. Uh, you're an amazing client. Um, showed up every week. Don't get me wrong, everyone that's watching this. Sam still did the work. He actually followed the program. There's a funny thing. If you follow the program, you get the results. But if you are totally. watching this um, and you you want to get involved, you struggle with your weight, maybe you've tried a few things, you've been up like Sam, up and down, it all starts with a 15-minute call. So go to gabgillybrand.com forward slash Book a call, all one word, we'll grab 15 minutes, we'll put a plan in action, I'll make you a sexy offer. If you love it, we'll do it. If you don't, you're crazy. I'm only joking. Sam, you've been an absolute gent. Hopefully we'll continue in phase two at some point. Um, all the best, my man. Thank you. You as well. Thank you so much. Changed my life. Thanks, Gab. 
Uh, amazing.